Ayan na yun sila A round of applause for the wonderful Enquans! Good morning everyone and welcome to Mosquatica! By the way, my name is JB and I would like you to meet my Sila and friends together with the trainers one at a time. On your left side is the eldest female South American Sila that we have here. And according to her trainer, she is the pretty, yes! Oh, don't be shy, girl! Her name is Isis. Together with trainer Jaya, say hi! While on the other side is the youngest female South American sea lion that we have here. And according to her trainer, she is the smartest. Oh, what a nice smile! Her name is Ira. Together with trainer Rem, say hello! Now, let's continue. So guys, do you have any idea where they're called feet? Or feather for the parent mammals? Any idea? Do they have feathers? Well, let's ask them. Hey ladies, do you have feathers? Well, the answer is no. It's actually because of their front flippers, which are shaped like a bird's wing. See those? The term pinnipeds may also be translated as we put it, since their flippers do look somewhat like wings. In fact, they have to be flying underwater as they swim from place to place. Right, ladies? And you know, they all be mistaken like a seal because they look very much alike. But some differences between a seal and a sea lion is the fact that they have bigger front flippers. And they also turn their back to leaper, something seal and a dude. As a result, they can walk upright while on land. And that's a fine demonstration about a round of applause for sea lion friends. And you know what? They have this long and flexible neck. How flexible is? Well, check this out. So flexible, right? How about another round of applause for sea lion friends? As you can see, their body is covered with a thin coat of short coarse hair. And the whiskers help the sea lion tense of touch. They contain nerve fibers which make them
ng penguin. Oh, swim siya. Ng penguin, swim siya. Oh, swim siya.